Your car is standing still, but the RPM needle is dancing like it has somewhere to be. It dips, surges, settles, and then jumps again, all without you touching the pedal. Feels wrong, sounds worse, and if left unchecked, it can become an expensive repair. In this video, we're breaking down 13 real reasons why your engine behaves like that at idle. What those symptoms are trying to tell you and exactly how you can fix them before you burn cash at the shop. Stay until the end, because the final reason is the one most drivers ignore and it can quietly destroy your engine from the inside out. Let's get started. Reason one, dirty throttle body. Your foot off the gas, the throttle plate is almost fully closed and your engine depends on a small controlled gap around that plate for a stable idle. But over time, carbon buildup forms around the throttle body and plate, especially in cars that do a lot of short trips or spend time in traffic. That buildup disrupts airflow, causing the ECU to constantly chase a stable idle, which is why you may see the RPM jump up, dip suddenly, or hunt in cycles. What to look for? RPM needle rises and falls while idling. Idle feels shaky or inconsistent in park or neutral. Hesitation when taking off after a stop. How to fix it. Remove the air intake duct, expose the throttle plate, and gently clean the inside of the throttle body using throttle body cleaner and a microfiber cloth. Do not force the plate open aggressively on electronic throttle bodies. If the buildup is heavy or returns quickly, a professional cleaning may be needed. Reason two, failing mass airflow sensor. The MAF sensor is the engine's air accountant. It measures exactly how much air enters the intake so the ECU can deliver the right amount of fuel. But when the MAF gets dirty or begins to fail, it feeds bad data to the ECU. That causes the fuel air mix to swing rich or lean, and your idle RPM responds by rising, dipping, or hunting. Common signs. RPM surges or dips more when the engine is warm. Fuel smell, black exhaust smoke, or poor MPG. Occasional stalling or hesitation when idling or pulling away. What you can do? Remove the MAF and clean it using MAF specific cleaner only. Let it dry fully before reinstalling. If idle remains unstable after cleaning, the sensor may need replacement. Reason three. Vacuum leaks. Your engine is designed to run with a precisely controlled amount of air. When there's an unwanted opening, like a cracked hose, loose clamp, or leaking intake gasket, extra air slips in that the ECU didn't measure. That throws the air fuel balance off, and the engine tries to correct it on the fly. This constant compensation is what makes the idle unstable. The RPM needle may swing up and down because the ECU is chasing a stable mixture but can't achieve it with air sneaking in from the wrong place. What to look for? Hissing sound from the engine bay. Rough, high, or unstable idle. Check engine light with lean codes. P0171 slash P0174. How you can fix? Inspect all vacuum hoses, PCV lines, intake boots, and gasket areas for cracks or looseness. Replace any damaged hoses and tighten all clamps. If the leak is from a gasket or manifold, professional sealing or replacement may be needed. Reason four, faulty idle air control valve. When your foot is off the throttle, the idle air control valve is the component that keeps the engine breathing and prevents it from dying at idle. It allows controlled airflow to bypass the closed throttle plate so the engine maintains a steady, predictable idle but the IAC is highly vulnerable to carbon buildup and mechanical sticking. When it gums up or fails electrically, the airflow becomes inconsistent, and the ECU keeps trying to compensate, which shows up as RPM hunting, dipping, or random surging while parked. Red flags to check. RPM rises and falls in cycles at idle. Engine stalls when stopping or slowing down. Rough idle, especially during cold starts, here are the steps to take. Locate the IAC on the throttle body, remove it, and clean it using throttle body cleaner. Be gentle not to damage the spring or solenoid. If cleaning does not restore a stable idle, the IAC will need replacement. Reason five, bad or sticking EGR valve. 
The exhaust gas recirculation, EGR valve, is designed to reduce emissions by redirecting a controlled amount of exhaust gas back into the intake. Under normal conditions, it stays closed at idle so the combustion process remains stable. But when the EGR valve sticks open due to carbon buildup, it allows exhaust gases to enter the intake at the wrong time. That disrupts combustion at idle, causing the engine to stumble, shake, or make the RPM needle bounce as the ECU reacts to the imbalance. Here's what to look for. Engine shakes or vibrates at idle. Stalling after the engine warms up. Strong exhaust or fuel smell from the tailpipe. The steps to take. Remove the EGR valve and check for carbon deposits. Clean the valve and passages thoroughly, or replace the valve if it is stuck internally or electronically faulty. Before we go any further, if this kind of no-nonsense real mechanic breakdown is helping you understand your car better, tap that like button right now so YouTube knows to send more videos like this your way. Reason 6. Clogged fuel filter. Your engine needs a steady and consistent fuel supply to maintain a smooth idle. When the fuel pump begins to fail or the fuel filter becomes clogged, the fuel delivery becomes inconsistent. That inconsistency shows up as RPM fluctuations at idle because the engine is essentially starving intermittently. Common signs. RPM drops or dips when idling. Long cranking before the engine starts. Hesitation or stumble when accelerating from a stop. What you can do? Check fuel pressure with a gauge to confirm weak delivery. Replace a clogged fuel filter if overdue, and replace the pump if pressure readings are below factory spec. Reason 7. Dirty fuel injectors. Fuel injectors are responsible for delivering a precise spray of fuel into the cylinders. When they get clogged or begin failing electrically, the fuel spray becomes uneven, causing some cylinders to run lean or misfire intermittently. That fluctuation in combustion is reflected immediately in the RPM at idle. Here's what to look for. Shaking or vibration when the car is idling. Poor fuel economy or fuel smell from exhaust. Misfire code stored in the ECU. P0300 to P030X. Steps to take. Add a quality injector cleaner to the fuel system or remove injectors for ultrasonic cleaning if buildup is severe. Replace injectors if misfires or idle instability continue after cleaning. Reason 8. Faulty PCV valve. The PCV valve regulates crankcase vapors and directs them back into the intake to be burned. When the PCV valve gets stuck open or clogged, it creates an unmetered air leak that throws off the air-fuel balance at idle, leading to unstable RPM and engine shake. What to look for? Rough or wandering idle, especially when warm whistling or sucking noise from the engine area, oil residue around PCV hose or increased oil consumption, the steps to take. Inspect the PCV valve and hose for blockage or sticking. Replace the PCV valve immediately. It is a low-cost part and typically not worth cleaning. Reason 9. Worn spark plugs or weak ignition coils. Smooth idling depends on consistent ignition. When spark plugs are worn or ignition coils start to weaken, cylinders can misfire randomly at idle. That uneven firing causes the engine to hunt for balance, which shows up as RPM fluctuation even when the car is standing still. Red flags to notice. Rough idle or engine shaking at stoplights. Check engine light with misfire codes. P0300 to P030X. Hesitation or jerking under light acceleration. Steps to take. Inspect spark plugs for wear, oil, or carbon buildup and replace if due. Test ignition coils and replace any weak or failing elements that trigger misfire. If you're the kind of driver who likes fixing things before they become expensive disasters, hit like. It tells YouTube you want more videos that save you real money. Reason 10. Failing oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor tells the ECU how rich or lean the exhaust gases are. When it becomes slow, dirty, or fails electrically, it sends incorrect feedback. The ECU keeps adjusting fuel delivery to compensate, causing the idle RPM to jump up and down. Red flags to notice. Unstable idle after warm-up. Drop in fuel efficiency. 
Check engine light for O2-related codes. Steps to take. Clean the sensor temporarily with appropriate cleaner only if lightly contaminated. Replace the sensor if the readings are slow or inaccurate on a scan tool. Reason 11. Bad MAP or Throttle Position Sensor TPS. The MAP sensor measures engine load, and the TPS tells the ECU the exact throttle angle. If either sends false readings, the computer delivers the wrong amount of fuel at idle. This data confusion makes the ECU constantly compensate, resulting in RPM hunting. Red flags to notice. Sudden or periodic idle surge without touching the pedal. Hard starts or hesitation when shifting from park to drive. Check engine light with map slash TPS related codes. Steps to take. Test the sensors with a scan tool. Inspect connectors and clean if contacts are dirty. Replace the failing sensor if values are erratic or out of spec. Reason 12. Low or contaminated engine oil. Modern engines use oil pressure as part of idle control strategy. When oil level is low or thick slash dirty, the engine doesn't receive proper lubrication and hydraulic systems lose stability. That can trigger idle dips, shakes, or RPM fluctuations as the engine struggles to compensate. Red flags to notice. Flickering oil warning light at idle. Louder engine noise when idling. Idle gets worse when engine is hot. Steps to take. Check and top up engine oil to correct level. If oil is old or contaminated, perform a full oil and filter change with the correct viscosity. Reason 13, ECU adaptation or software issues. After parts are replaced, carbon is cleaned, or the battery is disconnected, the ECU may still be using old learned values. When the computer hasn't relearned the new airflow or fuel conditions, it keeps adjusting incorrectly, making RPM fluctuate at idle until recalibration is done. Red flags to notice. Idle fluctuation after recent repairs or cleaning. No physical symptoms like leaks or misfires present. RPM hunts, even though all parts are new or cleaned. Steps to take. Perform an idle relearn or ECU reset following manufacturer procedure. In some cases, dealership level software updates or calibration may be required to stabilize idle. Now you know, a wandering RPM isn't a harmless glitch. It's your engine warning you before it cashes out your wallet. If this video helped you catch the problem before it got expensive, hit like and subscribe so you're not blindsided by the next hidden issue. Drop a comment if you fixed your idle another way. Your solution might save another driver. And before you go, watch our next video on symptoms of a bad PCV valve, because that one issue alone has ruined more engines than people realize.